Alrighty, folks, I'm KC LaCourse coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada with another showcase of Hearts of the West. It's cowboy poetry, Western music, and a whole lot of entertainment. I think you're going to like it. Now, I'll start off with one of my own poems. And the inspiration for this poem was my niece, Melissa. She went with me to Elko in 2016, and I just wanted to write something for her. And uh, the poem kind of wrote itself, and it's titled Legend of the Blue and Gold Bandana. Now it's told from a cowboy's perspective, folks, also, and I am the cowboy. Legend of the Blue and Gold Bandana by Casey LaCourse. I'm thinking of my sweet wife, Melissa. What she's doing now and how much I miss her. Why she stands about so high, I can lean down a mite and whisper words of love to my darling, sweet wife, Melissa. What I am, the total sum of me, from boots to hat, my horse and saddle, the thing that is most precious to me is my blue and gold bandana. My wife, sweet Melissa, made it for me. Now, that bandana's been a mask pulled over my face to keep out dust so I could breathe, and a bandage pulled tight so I wouldn't bleed. And the time or two when I needed a sling. Yep, that bandana is my everything. Now, my old friends, their eyesight not what it used to be. We'll see that bandana waving hello in the breeze. Don't make room around a campfire for an old part under the tree. Now, right now, I'm in a situation that's distressing me. Lost sight of my line shack while riding the range. Got stuck in a blizzard. Now I'm half frozen. My horse is lame. He laid down beside me. I don't mind, won't complain. And there is one other thing that is mighty strange. I can't feel the cold and I've forgotten my name. My friends won't find me till the spring brings the rain. But they won't know me because you know in death, you just don't look the same. But on closer look, they will see that blue and gold bandana wrapped tight around what's left of me. Thank you. Howdy y'all, Papa Mac coming at you from the southern tip of Texas. I'm honored that Casey asked me to share another poem with you. So the poem I have for you today has become somewhat of a fan favorite. People do request it most places I go. It's one I wrote a little while ago. And it's called Only at Walmart. Well, I was sent to Walmart by the wife and she even gave me a list. Of course, everything on it was important and she didn't want anything missed. Well, I saw it as soon as I walked through the door. 72 inches of flat screen perfection. It was on sale for less than a grand. I figured it needed closer inspection. Well, this TV had all the bells and whistles with email, Netflix, and HD2. The thinnest screen ever invented due to some kind of breakthrough. Well, I had to have this TV, and I figured I'd put it on layaway. I went and took care of that business. A little down is all I had to pay. And then I turned left to start on the wife's list. First, pick up her prescription. But wait, what's that sitting in the aisle? A recliner, too beautiful for a description. It was big and in my favorite color, Breakout Camel by Realtree. It's not on the wife's list, but I had to take it home with me. I forgot all about her pills and went on to what was second. She wanted four quarts of milk, but more camel beckoned. Hanging over there in men's clothing were overalls of every description and size. I picked up a pair for the wife and me. <laughs> I'm going to keep hers as a surprise. And then I was blinded by a gleam coming from sporting goods. Well, there was a rifle over there I knew would be perfect in the woods. A Winchester 300 was calling my name, and I had to answer that call. It felt good in my hands as I took it down from the wall. Well, I put it in the shopping cart with those overalls. And what's that over there? An entire row of game calls? I picked out one for deer and elk. It promised to call them in. A new rifle? And a call? I just needed a scope. I can't wait for hunting season to begin. Well, I made it back to the food section. They were sampling pre-cooked wings. Oh, they tasty. Added a few bags to the other things. 
I found wiper blades and seat covers in that same breakout camel. I threw them both in the shopping cart. I even picked up a box of ammo. Well, I left Walmart with a cart full of treasures I couldn't resist. Wife was certainly surprised. I didn't get anything off her list. Well, that was my last shopping trip alone as she was pretty upset. And I was thinking this is only the start, as that TV hasn't arrived yet. Well, thank you all very much. This is Papa Mac signing off. God bless, and you all have a great day. Hello, my name is Doug Figs. Uh, this is a song that's going to be on my new album. And, uh, you know, I just got to thinking that it uh, <laughs> sure seems like the whole world has just gone crazy. <laughs> Say I'm a fool to believe like I do But I'll just go on believing Cause I've seen life take its first breath I still wonder at the change of the season God is all around us We often refuse to see The whole world's gone crazy It's a little too much for me We're all about things we think we can change or oh, worry it never changed anything I know God has a plan I might not understand but I'm ready whatever it brings so take a look around you maybe then you'll see the whole world's gone crazy it's a little too much for me say I'm crazy too, but I know what I believe, the way, the life, and the truth. So open up your eyes, it's really not that hard to see. The whole world's gone crazy, it's a little too much for me. The truth is there in black and white. Right before our eyes So why do we think it's easier To listen to the lies It's right there before our eyes But somehow we still can't see The whole world's gone crazy It's a little too much for me The whole world's gone crazy they say I'm crazy too, but I know what I believe, the way, the life, and the truth. So open up your eyes, it's really not that hard to see. The whole world's gone crazy, it's a little too much for me. The whole world's gone Hey folks, this is Randy C. Moore coming to you from my home in Lufkin, Texas, and I'm glad to be here today on the Hearts of West Showcase. I want to thank KC LaCourse for having me on. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate being here, and I'm proud to be able to do a song on this showcase today. The song I'm going to do for you guys is a song called He's Just a Cowboy, and it's written about a real guy, a guy I know whose name is Bob Gordon. He's a rancher up in the high country of Nevada, and this whole song is about him. This is really how he lives. He dreamed of being a rancher all his life, and he still is to this day. So I want you all to enjoy this. If you like it, you can get it on my new record album. It's called Lovekin. It's got uh, nine other songs on it, and uh, you can go to my website to find it. It's www.randyinitialcmore.com. That's randycmore.com. So here we go. Here's a song for you, all you cowboys and all you cowboy lovers out there. He's just a cowboy. Oh. 
Oh, the high country snow came in early October. The icy winds cut through his coat. His cows on the prairie needed three days of feed. God willing, the devil would not succeed today. As the day came to closing, he knelt by the fire, felt his bones starting to thaw. Stars up above looked down for a spell, knowing he'd beaten another cold day to hell. He's his own boss, don't boss him around. He can bulldog the devil down to the ground. A renaissance man, two steps out of time. He's just a cowboy, and a cowboy's one of a kind. He rises each morning while the sun is still sleeping. The coffee in his cup is so black night can't see it. He saddles his dam and he rides out again. Holding on tightly to life by the old leather reins. He's tough in ways nobody knows. He learned life from knocking the skin off his nose. Don't ask, he won't tell you how he got so wise. He's just a cowboy, and a cowboy is one of a kind. He never dreamed of castles or kingdoms or heroes from comic book pages. All that he needs is a horse and a saddle and a few thousand wide open spaces. Cause he always believed a man should be free cause a man don't belong to no one. No one God save his soul. He was born to a mother like all human beings. He lives with his habits and his scars. When he's done with living, you won't know when he dies. Cause he's just a cowboy and a cowboy is one of a kind. Yes, a cowboy is one of a kind. He's just a cowboy He's one of a kind